Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flying with Overkill F-18C Hornet and today we're going to be taking a look at Time on Target. Time on Target is used to uh, either get an aircraft or uh, munitions at a very specific point at a very specific time. Okay and so an example here is what we're going to be using today is if we come over here to our F-10 map and we take a look at Sanaki, we don't have any contacts here. Okay there aren't any vehicles there's nothing here. Nine minutes after this server started, which, you know, the clock is ticking as we speak, a group of trucks will appear on this runway. Okay, we need to make sure that we are here to drop, uh, a, excuse me, high drag attack on those trucks. Okay, here's how we're going to set that up. First thing is, you have to change your time to Zulu. Okay, all of the uh, time on target times must be entered in Zulu. So we're going to go ahead and go zone here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, let's go straight into air-to-ground mode so we don't have to fight with it later. We'll also set up our bombs real quick. So we're going to go mode, CCIP, uh, fusing, nose, electronic fusing, instant, drag, retard, UFC. We're going to do a quantity of eight. We're going to do two bombs at a time at an interval of, let's do 150 feet. Okay, so bombs are set up. Now let's go ahead and go, and we're going to bring our HSI up here. And let's go ahead and get that guy out of there. Let's like bring up the SA page here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is scale to or change our waypoint to waypoint five. Put our box around the waypoint so we get our uh, HUD indications. Turn on the sequence so we can see the designated flight path. Reduce our uh, level so we can fly uh, the path as accurately as possible. Then what we're going to do is go to data. You can see we're on waypoint 5. I'm going to select precise waypoint just so that's a populated. Then we can see time on target here is blank. We're going to add that. We're going to go to sequence UFC here. Hit time on target. And what we are going to want is 539.10. We want to be there 10 seconds after they spawn. So we're going to go 053910 and then enter. And you can see now we have a time on target. Now that we have our time on target, if we come up top, you can see up here that we have this carrot. Okay, we have this carrot and this vertical line underneath our indicated airspeed. The carrot, when it's on the right of this line, indicates that we're going too fast and we're going to be there much, much too early. If the carrot falls to the left, we're going too slow and we're running late. So what we want to do is adjust our throttle and airspeed to where this carrot sits right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this all looks like in action. We can now go ahead and go back into the HSI mode. Let's come out of an active pause. Now we have quite a bit of airspeed to burn here. Start steering us towards our waypoint. Now, it's not uncommon that we may need to orbit depending on how early we really are. Like, we still have basically six minutes to get to our area, and we don't have six minutes of travel time, I can tell you that right now. All right, there we go. So airspeed has fallen enough, where now we can start accelerating a bit. Let's go ahead and start steering towards our waypoint. And this is just the next waypoint in the sequence. We're not on our target area yet. So saying we're too slow, so let's go ahead and add some power on. There we go. And it's just like a landing, you know, you just got to constantly feather the throttle and make sure you're where you need to be. Now we are running really, really slow. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into an active pause. The timer will keep ticking, but it'll allow us to pick some airspeed up here. So I'm going to speed that up. Should be good. It's important to remember that this is calculating whatever waypoint is currently selected.
Go ahead and descend a little further. Get closer to our attack speed. Or attack altitude, excuse me. I'm just constantly on the throttles, adjusting as needed. And you know what I'm going to do before it has a chance to bother me is spin that thing down. It drives me nuts. All right, falling a little slow, accelerating. Falling back a little. So this is really, this is actually a really good training aid for also teaching you how to manage your airspeed. You know, set yourself up with different uh, time on targets or different waypoint locations. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't even have to have any munitions. Um, but, uh, you know, set up certain times that are reasonable, you know. Don't set something up where you have to be on the afterburner the entire time because you probably won't even make it there before you run out of fuel. Um, but uh, makes it really handy um, to... Um, to manage your airspeed and you can set up triggers and things like that have smoke pop up if you make it on time or something like that all right let's start turning towards the final location here adding powers we're getting a little slow came a little off target there We should be able to see the runway. There's our runway. It's not perfect. Like I said, I'm, my margin of error, I've made it a little tight, tighter than it needs to be. Like, truth be told. Um, probably should have given myself, like, 30 seconds, you know, where the targets are actually available. Maybe even a little longer. Um, but it's neat to see how close you can cut it. So if we if we flew this right, our target should be there right about the time we get there. Let's go ahead and speed it up, running a little behind. Let's go ahead and throw the labels on here. And see, we're actually running about 20 seconds ahead of schedule here. Almost 15. So I'm actually pulling power off here. So again, it's not perfect. And again, I, I cut the window a little close. Really did. But we should have them now. Okay, so we're set here. And we can pickle our bombs. And that's the idea behind time on target. So, again, like I said, don't take it too literally there on the timing. You know, I cut it way too close. I mean, literally, I gave myself a 20-second window. Okay, so it's not meant to be used necessarily on that manner down to the second, um, but definitely down to the minute. So, you know, if you're going to set something, give yourself, you know, 45 seconds of, of time, you know, or so. You know, don't give yourself 10 seconds like I gave myself. Okay. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. We're going to be doing uh, quite a few more with the Hornet, doing some updates as things have changed. Um, I know some other people have done updates for the Hornet uh, based on a lot of the changes, but uh, since I have that list on the forums, I should probably keep it up to date. All right, guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.